My man Dave. I think you're going to like this video, Dave. Now, you got a deal from us. Uh, you did a duplex in Lorraine County, okay? And for those of you watching Dave's video, Lorraine County is a county over from Cleveland, right? Cleveland's in Cuyahoga County. You go west, you're in Lorraine County. And Dave, I know you're doing well with that duplex, had it for a couple years, and you like Lorraine because it's a little bit more landlord-friendly than Cleveland. Well, guess what? I'm going to hit you up with the same. I got a duplex, but we're not going west to Lorraine County. We're going to go south. I'm going to hook you up with one in Canton, which I like uh, for basically the same reasons I like Lorraine. I was probably the person, I would assume, that uh, put you onto Lorraine. I feel the same way about Canton, Ohio. Let's talk about that plus the deal right now. I am James Wise, and I am here to help you make money. I'm going to be running the numbers on a real deal. You want to be here. Yeah, we're going to go out of state, but of course, you know my team's going to take care of that. Let's check it out. All right, y'all. Today, I want to talk about Canton, Ohio, right? Canton, Ohio. I got this duplex that I think you guys are going to love. We're going to be able to do a bird deal on it. Uh, but before I even get into the numbers on the specific deal, the specific property, okay? Let's pull the picture up while I talk. Give you guys something nice to look at. Look at that beauty right there. I know she ain't much on the eyes, okay? I know she ain't much on the eyes, but that's okay, y'all. The numbers are going to make up for it. But before we get into the numbers, let's talk about can. See, what I like to do, and I think a lot of you watch my show for, hire me, hire my company, right? Is because I like to find you guys properties in good investor friendly cash flow markets right now ohio is incredibly affordable it's incredibly investor friendly right the three most popular markets in ohio cleveland columbus cincinnati okay i've done the most business out of any market in ohio because we do it all right outside of those we also do toledo we do canton we do akron youngstown dayton um ev everything any anything everything in between in the great state of ohio okay all very landlord-friendly. I've done the most business in the Cleveland market, okay? Cleveland is becoming a little bit more tenant-friendly than I'd like to see. Now, when I say it's becoming tenant-friendly, it's because it's becoming tenant-friendly, but I don't want you guys out there to freak out and think I mean like California tenant-friendly or I mean like Seattle tenant-friendly or, God, I mean like that dirty shithole Portland tenant-friendly. No, there is no way... Uh, a, a, a city, a, a market in the state of Ohio, which is a red state, could ever become tenant-friendly in the way that those three markets are tenant-friendly. But it's still becoming a little more tenant-friendly than neighboring uh, cities in Ohio, right? So that's kind of uh, what leads me to want to discuss Canton with you, right? Because Canton, it's like an hour, uh, away from Cleveland, okay? It was like a 49, 50-minute drive, most of Canton properties, uh, from our office here in Holton Wise. We do property management in Canton just like we do uh, in Cleveland. So it's it's in our general area, right? Cleveland is located in Cuyahoga County, and uh, Canton is located in Summit County. Holton Wise will manage properties in Cuyahoga County and in every county that surrounds or touches Cuyahoga County, and then anything outside of those counties, uh, we will outsource it, right? So we do a lot of deals in Toledo, right? Uh, but we outsource that. Uh, we have you guys get your own property management or hook you up uh, with preferred vendors who are actually on the ground, right? Because it's, it's almost like a two hour drive for my team to get out to Toledo. So I can't just have leasing agents driving two hours to show Section 8 apartments in Toledo. It doesn't work that way. Likewise, Columbus, a couple hours. Uh, Cincinnati's four hours, right? So we outsource it, right? But we do do deals all in Ohio. But Canton's really close to the Cleveland market. And if you're going to be in the Akron Cleveland market, right? It's like Akron Canton is kind of what they call it because Akron and Canton are right next to each other, right? So you got like Cleveland, Akron, Canton, okay? Uh, if you're going to be comparing, Properties in that general, like, you know, one hour radius, right? Canton right now, much more landlord friendly than Cleveland. Cleveland is a little more tenant friendly. Again, still much more landlord friendly than, uh, you know, California, Seattle, Portland, right? Uh, but if you're comparing Cleveland directly to Canton, Canton's going to be a much more 
uh, landlord friendly, less tenant friendly. You don't have those new lead paint regulations that are like sweeping through Cleveland and kind of screwing people up, right? Because A, they're very tenant friendly re regulations. And B, uh, Cleveland is just getting those started. So enforcement, regulation, it's all kind of screwy, right? It's a lot of bureaucratic nonsense, right? The Cleveland government is not known to be one of the most like efficient uh, governments, right? Nobody's like, man, we should run our city like they run Cleveland. They kick ass how they run that shit, right? Nobody's ever said that, right? Big ass jug, big ass jug of water. Yo, uh, YouTube, it's doing this thing now, guys, uh, where we click, we, we tag products, right? We tag products from multiple vendors, okay? And then you guys click on those products, and we get paid a commission. This is a big fucking jug of water, guys. You should drink one of these every single day. It's very, very healthy. And I'm going to make it easy on you. I'm going to go ahead and tag some of my favorite waters. And I want you all to click on that and buy it. Now, the waters I'm going to tag, they're not fancy. They're not special. They're your standard low-cost waters. These big motherfucking jugs right here. You know, you pick them up. At your local stores, right? Pick them up in many locale stores. I'm going to go ahead and tag them. Because when you guys get thirsty, I want you to think of your boy Jay Wise. Plus, I'd also like to earn, you know, some commission every time you motherfuckers get thirsty. That would be super dope if you guys want to do that for me. I'll tell you what. If this video, guys, if this video, I'll tell you what I want you guys to do. If you guys click on a water and buy it, I want you guys... To then leave a comment on this video and say, Hey, Jay Wise, I got thirsty and I bought one of your fucking waters, dog. You guys do that for me. And if we sell a hundred jugs of water, I'm going to pick one of the commenters and we'll give you a free video. All right? Free video. So like, you know, hundred motherfuckers out there. Yo, I bought some water. We'll pick one at random when we sell a hundred. And then uh, we'll give you a free video, right? Look at that. You get an opportunity to get a free video just for buying water. It's water. You got to buy this shit anyway, man. Let's fucking do it together, guys. <sighs> anyway, let's talk about this property now that I'm hydrated, okay? Now, we're in Canton. We don't got to worry about the lead certs, which is great. Okay, because this is like, if this was in Cleveland, it's got like wood siding. I mean, dude, first of all, if this was in Cleveland, this property would be more expensive too. Like, that's the thing, right? Not only is it more landlord friendly, less tenant friendly, not a lot of people are paying attention to it, right? Like, from a national scale, when people think of Ohio, they're like, Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati. They forget about like the whole rest of the state, right? Which is great because little deals like this, guys. They slide under the radar, right? Like, if you guys watch a lot of my content, like, watch a lot of these MLS shows, like, dude, this this duplex looks like it's plucked right out of Cleveland. Am I right? It's very ba basically, like, the same type of stuff. But two biggest differences, right? Number one is the price, seventy nine nine. By the way, the street, if you want to Google uh, map it or anything yourself, it's 722 High Avenue, okay? Do your own due diligence, right? It's all about trust but verify, right? But the price, seventy nine nine, okay? If this was in Cleveland, y'all, first of all, this would be a hundred, okay? So you got twenty K right there. Second of all, you'd probably have to drop twenty thousand dollars of vinyl side it because of the new lead laws, right? Like, come on. So that's like a forty K swing, right? So that's part of the reason why like the smart investors guys, they're hitting up some of these little outskirt lesser known markets, right? That's, that's what I'm doing, right? When everyone's zagging, I'm trying to zag. I'm trying to stay ahead of the curve, okay? So I like this one, right? Now, you saw in the photos, one of the units was empty, okay? That is a 1-1. One, one. That's going to rent for seven fifty. The other unit, okay? We got a tenant in there long term. Like, this particular owner has kept that person in there for, like, years, right? It's one of those ones that put them on a one-year lease, and then they stay for, like, five, six years, month to month. They're only paying 500 You should get that a lot higher, guys. That one should be – that should be an 875 unit, okay? 875 and 750 right? 1625 okay? If you actually look at my chart, 
looks like uh, we flip flopped it when I, we drew up the chart. We wrote that the 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 two bed one bath unit would be seven fifty, and the one one would be eight seventy five. There's nothing magical about those units. Uh, we just we just flip flopped them, guys. So we're probably not going to go back uh in edit the chart so i'm just gonna let you all know that those are flippity flopped okay uh the two bedroom is in fact the one that is going to rent for more money than the one bedroom right so the one bedroom uh is going to be the one that gets 750 that's the one that's vacant uh the two bedroom is the one that she's only paying 500 for and you need to get that up to 875 right we can help you do that what i recommend what i'd like to do is you take over the property you buy the property and then you want to slowly increase that person's rent. You renovate the vacant unit, right? Drop like 15K into it, getting it look all, all good, okay? Nice paint, vinyl lower flooring, paint the kitchen, like spiffing it up, man. Spruce it up. Make it look good. Get it Section 8 ready. Get it rocking and rolling for new tenants, right? I think, like I said, 15. We're going to call it 15, okay? So I'm going to put in the chart too, $15,000 rental. Looking bang, and that'll get you an 875 tenant right away. But you don't want to mess with the unit where the chick has already been living. Because, dude, why drop another 15K when you don't need to? She's not going to be able to find anywhere else for 500 bucks a month. There ain't no two ones in Canton for 500, right? Uh, but I don't think you need to go all the way to 750 like year one because that'd probably get her to move out. She'd be so upset, right? Uh, so I'd probably go like 100 bucks a year, right? 100, 100, and then 50, right? That's how I would do it. Slowly increase that tenant's rent because you do it that way, they're probably going to stay, and then you keep bringing in the money, and then you don't have to spend another 15K up front. You do it like that, guys. This is how I want to see this deal play out. Do a little burr action. They're asking 79.9. I think I could aggressively uh, negotiate with the seller because, again, not a lot of people are paying attention to this market. Not as much competition as Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, right? I think I can get it for you for 75. Then we put 15 in renovating said unit. Get you set up at 90K. Eventually, when you get your tenants up to market rent, 1625 is what comes in. Factor in your fixed and variable expense estimates. It's going to leave you with an NOI of about 900 a month, almost 11 Gs for the year. Guess what, folks? It takes a little bit of time to get it renovated. It takes a little bit of time to get that tenant's rent up because I said you should do it slowly. Well, guess what? You know it's probably going to happen in a little bit of time. I think interest rates are probably going to go a lot farther down than where they're at, right? We all know they're at like a decade high. We all know that it's like uh, the fastest like increase in the last 40 years. Guess what's coming up next year though, right? Election year, guys. What happens to interest rates during those? They go down, right? At that point, I would do my cash out refi. Get yourself a little bit better of an interest rate. The bank should value it at 100k since we're renovating it and getting uh you know two market rent paying tenants in there now now i believe it's worth a hundred k which is ten thousand dollars more than our acquisition cost and a renovation cost meaning the bank will give us back 75k hopefully at a much lower interest rate than today that should result in a 42 percent cash on cash return making buku bucks you only leave fifteen thousand dollars into the deal that is a beautiful burr for those of you who don't know what burr means it's buy renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. It has made me millions. It can make you millions. And it works even better when you can get the property for a sweet price. And this is one that I think we can get for a sweet price because I don't think a lot of people are paying attention. So that, folks, that makes me want to wet my bake. Seriously, it's fucking water, guys. Just buy it. All right? It's, it's, it's water. Y'all want water? Just buy the water, man. You got to buy it anyway. Hook me up! All that information I just gave you, that's good information, y'all. Anywho, uh, that's what I think we should do on this property. I do really, really dig, I do dig Canton, man. I, th I think it's like one of the better markets to be paying attention to if you're into Ohio real estate. So, uh, with that said, let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.